Hey guys, the following clip is about using the shadow method to work out the height of something. Enjoy! When trying to measure the height of large objects, it is sometimes difficult to measure it by getting onto a ladder. So an easy way of doing that is the shadows method. Um, the example we're going to use is a tree. So this is just a simple diagram I drew up. This is the height of the tree. This is the shadow that it casts. This is the height of a person and the shadow that the person casts. So what we need to do is we need to find the height of the tree. So easy way of doing it, I have a measuring tape, put the tape right up against the object I'm measuring, in this case a tree, right to the end of a shadow, measure the person or myself from the ground right up to the highest part if I'm wearing a ponytail at the highest top part of my ponytail and then also the shadow from my feet or whose ever feet right up to the furthest point of the shadow. These three measurements has to be quite accurate for you to find what the actual height is. So the rule for using the shadows method is as follows. So I need to have the height over the shadow and put that equal to the height over the shadow. Very important that the height and the shadow of each object need to be in the same fraction. Do not mix them up. So what I need to do is I'm going to make my big object, my tree, my first fraction. Because I'm wanting the height, I'm just going to leave H at the top of my fraction. At the bottom of my fraction, I'm going to put the shadow that that object has cast, which is 11.3. In my next fraction, I need the person or my own measurements. So the height is 1.8 and the shadow is 1.1. Easy way to, to remember which one goes on top and which at the bottom. Height is always measured up in the air, therefore it's on the ground. And when you cast a shadow, it's normally on the floor. So that would be at the bottom of my fraction. What I need to do now is I need to find the value of H. So I need to get rid of this fraction. It's dividing at this stage, so I need to multiply it by 11.3 to get rid of that over here and multiply the same on the other side. So my H is going to be equal to 1.8 multiplied by 11.3 divided by 1.1. When I type that into my calculator, the height I will get is 18.49 meters. Very important that you write the same unit that you have done all your measurements in. To be able to do this, all of your units has to be the same measurement so that you or the same unit so that you can find the correct answer. And that is how we find the height of a large object using the shadows method. I hope this clip helped. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone it might possibly benefit. If you've got any questions, please drop it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also find the link to the introduction of trigonometry over here. See you next time. Bye.